Good morning and welcome to my vlog. I'm Sonia or La Femme Tour and Justice and I are in week six, just getting ready to start week seven of our challenge to run, walk, or crawl 1,000 miles in 2017 and we're logging in those miles across all 50 states. Currently we are in Mississippi and heading up the Natchez Trace. Today I thought we would make a stop in Tupelo which is the birthplace of Elvis Presley. Um, wanted to take the hike up Little Mountain Trail off of Jeff Busby campsite today, try to get the sunrise. This is about all there is for sunrise, folks. Pretty overcast day. Uh, ended up having to drive up here because Justice was just not having any of the walk. But I guess it's Sunday, so we'll take our day of rest, get back at it tomorrow. And being that it's Sunday, and that Elvis Presley was heavily influenced by gospel music, I thought maybe I could find a church that we can attend. So we're gonna head into town. I grew up Assemblies of God, so I don't know if they're gonna let me in in my grungy blue jeans, um, but we'll see how it goes. So I didn't actually make it to church today, but I have been listening to some Southern gospel music and visiting the birthplace of Elvis Presley. There in the background is the Assembly of God Church that he attended when he was growing up before he moved to Memphis, Tennessee. And there is Elvis with his first guitar, which his mama bought him when he was like 11 years old. This place doesn't open until one o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. So I've got kind of the place to myself, just hanging out in the parking lot, listening to some gospel music, gonna have some lunch with Justice. So technically I have made my way out of Mississippi following the Natchez Trace Parkway through Alabama and into Tennessee and the northernest part of the parkway has been closed and is detoured. So I've made camp and I suppose this concludes my Natchez Trace trip. Uh, I'm really liking this campsite. It's really quiet. There are only like four other campers here. Um, but there's like 20 some spaces and heated restrooms <laughs> and looks like lots of hiking available to me so I may actually stick around for a couple of days before deciding where to kind of explore in Tennessee, maybe Nashville, um, maybe closer to the Smoky Mountains area, not quite sure yet, but I do need a couple of days to process my time in Mississippi. Um, the biggest impression that Mississippi made on me was still how real and alive um, racial diversity is. And I don't mean diversity in the positive sense of the word. Um, I still saw a lot of separation between the races, which made me really sad. And each state I want to try to learn something from and I need a couple days to wrap my head around what Mississippi really had to teach me. Uh, something to do with the Civil War, um, the Civil Rights Movement, and blues music. And maybe that connection is really obvious to you all, um, to music buffs or history buffs, but I'm neither. I'm just a normal girl who <laughs> loves to roam and wants to be present and available to the lessons that the road has to teach me. So with that, I'm going to settle in for the night, do a little bit of writing, do a little bit of meditating, enjoy the beautiful outdoors, and go from there. <laughs> 